The Gap Year. We're throwing a party for Louise next Friday night. She's leaving after Easter to take a gap year in Australia. Will you help us to organise it? You're good at this sort of thing. How many people will be coming? Not too many, I hope. There'll be about fifty of us. No one wants to miss it. I'll be glad to give you a hand, especially for dear Louise. But what will she do there? Where will she live? Will she be able to work? She says that she'll teach English in Sydney for a while, and then she'll backpack across the country for several months. Won't she find it tough? She doesn't know anyone in Australia, does she? You know Louise. She'll feel at home anywhere. Anyway, she told me that she knows someone in Auckland. Apparently, her cousin runs a bar there during the summer. She'll be all right. I'm pretty sure that she'll land on her feet. And the Australians are very laid back and friendly. How will she travel around? I hope that she won't hitchhike. Why not ask her yourself? She'll be here any minute. Talk of the devil. Here she is. Hi there, Louise. I was talking to Brian about your big adventure. Yes, I'm really looking forward to it. It will be great. Promise me that you won't take too many selfies on the beach and put them on your photo wall. They'll make us jealous. I promise that I won't. Cross my heart. Now, please hand me a drink. She promises that she will not take any selfies during her holiday. She promises that she won't take any selfies during her holiday. Will you hitchhike or take the train? There are several possibilities. He will not help us to organize the party. He's too busy. He won't help us to organize the party. He's too busy. Will she teach English in Sydney or in Auckland? I'm not sure. I will not tell anybody. Cross my heart. I won't tell anybody. Cross my heart.